it's uh it's been a while um i've been moving for college and instead of making videos i decided to do packing hanging out with friends and family instead of making videos and gotta say i i don't regret that but i do wish i would have fit this more into it i miss doing movie reviews it's been like two months and i'm sorry um i love doing this it's a really awesome hobby for me but today i want to i want to give you guys a review for the green knight and then later this week the suicide squad comes out i'm seeing that tomorrow and uh then i'm also i also do a review for jungle cruise Stillwater, and um snake eyes which i all saw while i well i once i moved in but I now, just now got my MacBook, so now I'm able to record videos and make content for you guys. Um, but now let's get on to the review for The Green Knight. I really love this movie. Uh, I'll just be honest. I love A24. I think they make some of the, mo the, like, the best quality movies. But the thing that I, I really, really love about this movie and a lot of other A24 movies is that it never panders to the audience. This is uh, like a, a, mythologi a mythological tale. Um, and it's like a very small-scale epic in a way. Uh, the cinematography is absolutely incredible. And one thing that I really enjoyed is that most of this movie relied on practical effects. And that was wonderful. But the, the thing that I really love about this movie is its story. Its story is... In extremely intriguing because it makes again it makes you think it makes you wonder what the point of it is and when you start to unravel why the story is the way it is it really really works um it does like a little bait and switch at the end of the movie where you kind of expect one thing to end this way and then it just ends on this extremely silent shot and i'm not going to spoil how it does that or what happens but i just gotta say it it may be like one of my favorite endings to a movie all year uh it was incredible this movie is so well built so well edited the score is incredible uh i loved almost everything about it the performances are great but i can't pronounce names so i'm not even gonna, going to attempt um but the movie was just awesome and i do have one small nitpick and we'll get into that now small nitpick I have is, uh, as you see in the trailer, uh, the main character slays a green knight, and there's like kind of like a period of time where he's kind of preparing to set out on his journey. I do wish there was one to two more scenes in that area of the film where it kind of, you know, explored how he was feeling a little bit more, but other than that, this movie was awesome. Uh, I would go and see it. I know it's not for everyone. Uh, it, again, it makes you think, and not a lot of people like to do that nowadays, and I get that. Um, but for me, it was incredible. So with all that being said, I'm going to give The Green Knight an A. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm finally back. I really want to do reviews normally. I can't promise anything, though. I am in college. I'm going to full sale. Um, but I hope you guys stick around. So until then, I will see you in the next video. Take care.